Hi everyone, what's up? It's me your boy Eric and welcome to another episode of my Kalimbanizing series. In this video, we're going to talk about chords transposition. What is chords transposition? Why do we need it? And I'm giving you some tips on how to transpose the chords or how to transpose a particular progression, chords progression. Alright, this video is a result of my um, conversation with some of you, some inquiries from some of you. And I just can't cover everything in a single tutorial, so let's make it one by one, okay? Let's do it one by one, alright? And we're going to start this right now. So what is transposition in music? Transposition is like adjusting the pitch level of an arrangement from high, you make it low, from low, you make it high, or from middle, you make it low. And let me give you one example. So for example, this... Um, song called You're Still the One. It starts like then, 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 you have G, D, G, and A, right? The key center there is D. For example, you want to make it C. Of course, Kalimba, right? C. It becomes C, F, G. So from D, A, G, I mean D, G, A, it becomes C, F, G. So, something like that. So, it's not just the harmony that is being transposed, including the melody. So, when you transpose a song, you transpose the chords, you also transpose the melody. Alright? And why do people transpose chords or why do we need to transpose a certain song to another key or to another pitch level some reasons are first you want to make it singable so for example you cannot reach the pitch level of a certain song you want to make it in a way you're comfortable of so you transpose it sa yung sariling key and suppose you have a singer you are a, let's say guitarist you want to make it singable for him or her you will transpose the key depending on where they are comfortable of and for example you're playing in church and you want to let the crowd sing with the song you want to make it singable for them so we transpose now let's go to kalimba kalimba standard tuning is c right if you want to play a lot of songs you need to transpose them in key of c or you will retune your kalimba higher and lower depending on the key and now what if you want to jam with the band you want to jam along with them or let's say you're playing in church not all songs are in key of C, so how are you gonna do that? One way is to buy at least five kalimbas, in my opinion, and then tune it in the most common key center. Like G, you have E, you have A, you have C, of course. Let me show you some of my harmonicas. I'm not bragging this one, yeah. I'm just gonna give you some examples why I'm saying that you need five kalimbas. So, I have your five harmonicas. It was six, I gave away one. So. These harmonicas are in different key centers. I have A, I have G, I have C, I have D. And if I want to jump with the students here or with my friends, I just need to ask them what key center they are and then pick up one here and jump along with them. So it works like that if you will play with a band, right? And so it's very important you have a lot of kalimbas tuned into different key centers if you want to jump along with them because this one is in key center c standard and if they will go to another song and their song is in key of g for example how are you gonna play so let's just say your band is playing in key of g and their chord progression goes g c d kalimba has c right c chord kalimba has um what else g same however sa key of g they have d in key of g in kalimba key of c we have d minor so it means you may ruin the arrangement you may ruin the band the, the song because of d minor you can still play d two time or to make sure just one time right if one once they play g c d when they go to d you play d okay or two but don't go to the third time because in A, it will make it sound minor already, alright? It means you can still play with them, but you're gonna be limited and you may ruin the song. So my suggestion is buy more kalimbas in order for you to jam with 
the band. Tune it in different key centers. Alright? Now, if you are a single player, you're a soloist, you need to learn how to transpose if you don't want the hassle of retuning it. Alright, now let me proceed to the tips on how to tune your kalimba. I tune <laughs> to transpose your chord progression to C. So, here are three tips on how you can transpose the chord progression from any um, pitch levels, any key, to kalimba key center or C standard. Now, let's go to the first tip. Tip number one is find the key center or you need to identify what the key center is of a certain song. Each song has its own key center and you need to know kung nasaan siyang key center. So for example, you're still the one, right? So some songs, they start with the key center itself. So here, that song starts with D. So the key center is D. Not all songs, but this one, it starts with the key center itself. So we have D, we have G, and A. So that's the key center. Once you find the key center, you can transpose it using this chart. I'm showing you right now. This is called the transposition chart. So from key of D, look at that. We have D, um, G, and A. D, G, A is 1, 4, 5. Right? D, G, A. So 1, 4, 5 in key of C is C, F, G. So that's why it becomes C, F, G. That is when you know the key center of the song. You need to identify first what key center it is so you will not get lost. Kasi some chords here, some chords are being repeated, right? So they are present to some other key centers while others are not. Diba? So identify the key center first. Let me give you another example. This one is a song called Oceans by Hillsong. Same key center in my tutorial. Ukulele tutorial. It goes like this. E minor, passing chord D6 and G. And then it goes to D. And then it goes to C. So it has E minor, D6, and G. For this case, let's just remove the passing chord D6. So you have E minor, G, D, and C. That is the verse of the song, let's just say. Alright, so how will you find the key center? The song starts with E minor. Is it the key center? The answer is no. But you need to learn how to identify the relative minor also. So it goes deeper and deeper, diba? We're getting serious about music. Alright, so E minor. When I say relative minor, kasi all key centers here, they have relative minor. And that is the um, sixth note. So from key center, let's say C. The sixth note, so C has A minor, D has B minor, F has D minor. Yan yung mga relative minor na sinasabi. So, you need to be aware of that as well. So, that's why we need a chart like this. Lalo na hindi natin kabisado, right? If you don't memorize this all, it's better if you will have a chart. So, that is the relative minor. So, in this case, it starts with... E minor. So if we will consider that this is the relative minor of the key center, then it means this song is in key of G. We say that the beginning of the chord is E minor and maybe this is the relative minor of the key center of the major chord and that is G. So why not C? Let's just um, dig it up, alright? Let's criticize this um, chord progression. The chorus of this song, it goes like... And I will call upon your name. Alright, so we have C, G, and D. Alright, so why, again, we are trying to find out why it is G and why not C, why not D. The beginning of the chorus is C. Okay, so maybe it's C. So let's find out. Does C have G? The answer is yes. Does C have E minor? Yes. Does C have D? The answer is no. Because C has D minor. Alright, so X na yun yung C. It's not C. How about D? Does D have E minor? Let's check. Oh, D has E minor. That's the second note. Diba? Does D have G? Yes. D has G. 
does D have C? The answer is no because D has C sharp diminished. Alright, so it's not C, it's not D. So we find out because we check this chart, right? And so the key center is really G. Sometimes it's tricky how to find the key center. I just gave you that example. So somehow you will have an understanding, a deeper understanding how it works. So it's an additional learning for us, especially for you who are becoming more serious studying music, studying kalimba. Kalimba ski. The first tip goes, find the key center. It's very important. You know the key center of the song if you want to transpose. Tip number two, transpose it by group. Alright, not by single entity. Transpose it by chord progression. So for example, the song has intro, verse, and chorus. Transpose the intro first, followed by the verse, and then chorus. Transpose it by chord progression, yung arrangement. Not single entity. So I discourage you to transpose it. Tama ba yung single entity? What I mean is, not by, you know, by single chord. So for example, the song D, G, a, right? So after finding the key center, it's in D. Okay, it's in key of D. So and then you will look at the chart or you will transpose it. D in C is C. Something like that. And then G in C is F. No, you need to transpose it. It's better that you will compartmentalize your brain in a way that you the in a way that the chords are arranged by numbers or by groups. So let's just say that this song, D, G, A, is 1, 4, and 5. 1, 4, 5. So you just say that the song is in 1, 4, 5. It is arranged in 1, 4, 5. That's the verse. So, so just for example, 1, 4, 5, actually you can transpose it in any key that you want. If you're a guitarist, it's better, right? Or just use a capo pala if you're a guitarist. But just so you have the knowledge, um, D, G, A is 1, 4, 5. In key of C, this is C, F, G. Alright? So, compartmentalize siya. You know how to think in numbers and in letters. Alright? So, 1, 4, 5 is C, F, G. So, it's, it sounds like a formula, but it's not math. Alright? In other words, in key of D, the, the chord progression is D, G, A. You transpose it all. D, G, A all together. Not isa, isa. Hindi isa, isa. So D, G, A is 1, 4, 5. We go to key of C. 1, 4, 5 is C, F, and G. So let's proceed to another example. Next example is, let's say, this, this song, Oceans by Hillsong, right? We have E minor, G, D, and C. And in the key center of G, the formula goes E minor is 6. Alright? G is 1. D is 5. C is 4. So it goes like 6, 1, 5, 4. So what is the chord progression for this song in the beginning? Just some verse. 6, 1, 5, 4. So if you have that in mind, you can transpose it in any key. If you want to transpose it in kalimba or in key of C, 6, 1, 5, 4 becomes A minor, C, G, and F. So it becomes easier. You're transposing it by groups. Alright? Not by single chord. Okay? Because that's gonna be harder. It's a learning for us because jazz players actually play by numbers. Okay? And we're not going further to that today. Alright? Maybe when we discuss the seventh chord in Kalimba. Alright, so yun na yung tip number two. Transpose it by groups. Last example na lang tayo. For example, the song has E, B, C sharp minor, and A. It is in key of E. E, B, C sharp minor, and A. And that is 1, 5, 6, 4. So, 1, 5, 6, 4 in key of C goes C, G, A minor, and F. And that's the second tip. We need to transpose by groups, not by single chord. You will find out soon why it's important to transpose by group as we move along in our discussion. And I can't just cover everything, but stay with me as we study music. And we're studying it not in too, you know, too technical way, but actually in a way which is understandable by many people, diba? 
So, let's move on. Tip number three. This is, I think, the easiest or the most convenient way to transpose the chords. Use a website. Alright? So, for example, itong um, ultimateguitar.com. You just search your song. So, let's type any song right here. That's the song. Choose the highest rated version of the song. Yeah. Alright, so once you click the highest rated version of the song, you will see the chords. Yeah. So if it's easy for you, if it's in key of C, then you don't need to transpose it. Using your kalimba, you can play it right away. But if it's not in key of C, yeah, you go somewhere here and you'll see transpose. All you need to do is to match it in the key center that you like. Alright? And so you can copy this put it in a word or download their PDF and there you go you have the chord progression not just ultimate guitar some other websites they also offer chord transposition but again this video is for us to learn how to transpose so I'm giving you tips all right so I hope you learned something out of this video these are just tips all right so of course you can learn it in many ways you can have your own way but I'm giving tips because this is how I do it and sharing it with you, Kalimba community. So what do you want to learn next about Kalimba? Let me hear from you by commenting down below and I appreciate it if you will give me a thumbs up. Alright, and if you are interested in seeing my future videos about Kalimba, about music, about this journey of us learning Kalimba, learning music, you may want to subscribe this channel, consider subscribing. Alright, I'll see you again next time. Kalimba community, Kalimbackers, thank you po, maraming salamat.